What's up, everybody? Ironbug here, and welcome to the channel. Today's VR title brings me back to my days of playing 16 bit video games, especially the game called Lemmings. Today's title is Cartoffel, and it's on Steam VR. And I'll be using my Quest 2 with Airlink to experience it. Now, for you that are not familiar with Lemmings, I'll give you the basics of the game. Basically, these little tiny cute spuds are going to try to get from point A to point B. And we got to keep them safe to get there. Only problem is, these little guys think every step they take is a safe step. So we have to ensure that it stays that way. We'll be playing at a variety of different levels of different difficulty. Each level is a puzzle platformer. And it'll start off with these little guys spawning and walking. And we have to add content to the stages to keep them safe till they get to point B. It is really neat. If you've never played Lemmings back in the day, you're gonna love this. It's a great fun puzzle platformer. And it is done so well in VR. So let's just jump in here and check it out. All right, here we are in the first level. It's basically explaining that we can move by pulling ourselves by using the analog sticks. You move the world up and down. Turn it. Also turn using the control sticks. And this supports room scaling. All right, so the idea is we have to get this little spud from here to here. And we also have to collect these stars along the way. And we have one platform to do it. So we place our platform. And when we're confident, hit play. And out comes our spud. Hey, little buddy. Love the room scaling so you can just jump right into it. And we did it. So we got three stars out of three stars. All right, so here we are at the next level. And we can see it's a little more challenging than the first one. Now, we can place our blocks in advance, I think there. So I'm picturing boom, boom, boom. Boom, I think we're good. Now I'm just using the grab function to move around. I find it works great. You can play the seated or standing. I'm standing right now, but the controls are perfect for seated as well. So let's see our little spud here. Hey, little guy. Down he goes. Got the first star. Eventually, you're going to have more than just one of these little guys walking at once. There we have it. All right, here we go again. We only get one item this time, so we got to like spawn it. And then respawn it for our little spudling friend. Let's see the end. I'd love to see this game. Native on the Quest 2 using a pass through mode. I think it'd be amazing. There we go. Little nice music here. And we did it. Alright, so here we are at the next level. The sign says there's more of them, say four out of four. So we have four of these little guys now. Now I'm looking at this, we only have one block to place. I don't know how to get them to get reach both of them. So I'm gonna go with what I know is safe. I'm only gonna get two stars out of this one. Love the room scaling in this. Yeah, two stars. 
All right, guys, this level, I think it's going to be a little tougher because it says save one out of three. So I'm sorry, little guys, only one of these are going to get to live. Now, it looks like we need these here. I have one. Steer away from the trees or obstacles. We got three holes. I only got two blocks, so I'm going to have to switch one quick, and there's a tree. All right, so let's care of this tree. Ugh, and it says I'm going to get one out of three. I'm hoping to get all three here. Here we go. It's happy music. Just doing all good. Woohoo, you got a star. Get your little bum off there. Run, 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 run. Yeah! All three of you get to live today. Into what looks like it might be a deep fryer. Yeah! Alright, it seems like more sacrifice. Save three out of five. Five in here. I'm just gonna walk right off that cliff. I got one redirectional thing. Put that there. One. So I gotta turn this. I think that's the smartest move. All right, let's play it. They're all gonna live. I think I got all the stars. Yeah! This game is so much fun. Alright, it's another one that says we're gonna have to sacrifice. Only five of you seven get to live, and all we got is turntables. So I'm gonna walk off here. They're safe. Now they're gonna go, go, go. How do I get that one? One, to make them turn out. Two, to make them turn that way. Three, to turn back. I just keep walking straight. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get all the stars. Let's play this. Yeah, there's also a fast forward button if you're really confident in your work. Get them hustle. All right, I didn't get all the stars, but I saved seven. So yeah, this is one I'm gonna want to replay. Make sure I can get all those stars. All right, guys, as you can see, it is now nighttime in Kartoffel. And uh, yeah, so that's the game. If you liked Lemmings, if you grew up in the 16-bit days of playing Lemmings type games, this is a VR must have. This is a fun, relaxing game there is a lot of levels here <laughs> you're definitely gonna have a lot of content to play and scoring three stars on all of them lots of replay value here it's a great game Kartoffel it's on Steam VR I'm playing it using Quest 2 using side uh, Airlink and it works perfect so check this out if you like puzzle platformers or if you've ever played Lemmings in the 16-bit days. This is a must-have VR title. Until the next VR adventure, cheers guys.